the Most High. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is thy name in all the earth. Thou whose glory above the heavens is chanted by the mouths of babes and infants. Thou hast found it a bulwark, because of thy foes to still the enemy and the adventurer. When I look at thy heavens, the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars which thou hast established, what is man that thou art mindful of him, or the son of man that thou dost care for him? Yet thou hast made him little less than God, and dost crown him with glory and honor. Thou hast given him dominion over all the work of his, thy hands. Thou hast put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, also the beast of the field, the birds of the air, the fish of the sea, whatever passes along the paths of the sea. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is thy name in all the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen, alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Ooh.
reading is from the book of Genesis. When Abram heard that his kinsmen had been taken captive, he went home to Spain and had born in his house 318 of them, and went in pursuit as far as Dan. And he divided his forces against them by night, he and his servants, and routed them and pursued them to Jehovah, north of Damascus. Then he brought back all the goods, and also brought back his kinsmen Lot with his goods, and the women, and the people. After his return from the defeat of Chedorlaomer and the kings who were with him, the king of Sodom went out to meet him at the valley of Sheba, that is, the king's valley. And Melchizedek, king of Salem, brought out bread and wine. He was priest of God most high. And he blessed him and said, Blessed be Abram, by God most high, maker of heaven and earth. And blessed be God most high, who has delivered your enemies into your hand. And Abram gave him a tenth of everything. The reading is from the book of Deuteronomy. Behold, I have set the land before you. Go in and take possession of the land which the Lord swore to your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give to them and to their descendants after them. At that time I said to you, I am not able alone to bear you. The Lord God, the Lord your God has multiplied you, and behold, you are this day as the stars of heaven for multitude. May the Lord, the God of your fathers, make you a thousand times as many as you are, and bless you as he has promised you. So I took the heads of your tribes, wise and experienced men, and set them as heads over you, commanders of thousands, commanders of hundreds, commanders of fifties, commanders of tens, and officers throughout your tribes. And I charged your judges at that time, hear the cases between your brethren, and judge righteously between a man and his brother, or the alien that is with him. You shall not be partial in judgment. You shall hear the small and the great alike. You shall not be afraid of the face of man, for the judgment is God's. And the case that is too hard for you, you shall bring it to me, and I will hear it. The reading is from the book of Deuteronomy. Behold to the Lord your God belong heaven and the heaven of heaven, the earth with all that is in it. Yet the Lord set his heart in love upon your fathers and chose their descendants after them, you above all peoples, as at this day. Circumcise therefore the foreskin of your heart and be no longer stubborn. For the Lord your God is God of gods and Lord of lords, the great, the mighty, and the terrible God, who is not partial and takes no bribe. He executes justice for the fatherless and the widow, and loves the sojourner, giving him food and clothing. Love the sojourner, therefore, for you are sojourners in the land of Egypt. You shall fear the Lord your God, you shall serve him and cleave to him, and by his name you shall swear. He is your praise, he is your God, who has done for you these great and terrible things which your eyes have seen. Thou saying, O Lord, keep us this night without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our fathers. Praise and glory be to your name forever. Amen. Let your mercy, O Lord, be upon us as we have set our hope on you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Master, make you to understand your statutes. Blessed are you, O Holy One, enlighten me with your statutes. Your mercy, O Lord, endures forever, despise you with the works of your hands. To you is due praise, to you is due song, to you is due glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen.
because your mercy is better than life for this. We'll praise you, bless you, I will bless you. While I live, I will lift up my hands in your name. My soul will be filled with the oil and fat from my mouth. We'll praise you with joyful lips. I remembered you upon my bed. I meditated on you in the morning. You've been my helper and the shelter of your wings. I will rejoice. My soul is sweet to you. Your right hand upholds me. But those who sought my life in vain, they shall be delivered up with the sword. They shall be a portion for foxes. But the king shall rejoice in God. Everyone who swears by him shall be praised. But the mouth of those who speak in righteousness shall be stopped. I meditated on you in the morning. You have been my helper and in the shelter of your wings. I will rejoice. My soul is sweet to you. Your right hand upholds me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory be to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory be to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory be to you, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, God of my salvation, I cry out day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my supplication. For my soul is full of troubles, and my life draws near to hell. I am counted with those who go down to the pit. I become like a man without help, free among the dead. Like the slain, lie in the grave, who you remember no more, and who are cut off from your hand. You have laid me in the lowest pit in darkness and in the shadow of death. Your wrath lies heavy upon me, and you have afflicted me with all your ways. You have put away my acquaintances far from me, and regard me with horror. I was delivered up and have not come forth. My eyes are weakened from weeping, Lord, I will call daily upon you. I have stretched out my hands to you. Will you work wonders for the dead? Will the shades rise up and praise you? Who will tell of your mercy in the grave, or your righteousness in the place of destruction? Will your wonders be known in the darkness, and your truth in the land of forgetfulness? But to you I have cried out, O Lord, and in the morning my prayer comes before you. O Lord, why do you cast off my soul? Why do you turn away your face from me? I am poor and in distress from my youth. I was exalted. Then I was humiliated and brought very low. Your wrath passed over me, your terror troubled me. Like water they engulfed me all the day long, they overwhelmed me. You have put far away from me my friends, my neighbors, and my acquaintances because of my sufferings. O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried out day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you, incline your ear to my supplication. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from corruption, who crowns you with mercy and compassion, who satisfies your desire with good things, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord will see the mercy and executes justice for all who are oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses, his will to the children of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, long suffering and abundant in mercy. He will not always be angry, nor will he be at enmity with us forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heavens are high above the earth, the Lord has confirmed his mercy on those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgression from us. As the Father has compassion on his children, so the Lord is compassionate to those who fear him. For he knows where we are made, he remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass, like the flower of the field, so it blossoms. For when the wind passes over, it is gone, and its place remembers it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting, and those who fear him, and his righteousness to children's children, to those who keep his covenant, and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord has prepared his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all his angels, mighty and strength to do his word, heeding the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all his hosts, his ministers who do his will. Bless the Lord, all his works in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. In all places of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. Hear my prayer, O Lord, give ear to my supplication, and your faithfulness, hear me in your righteousness, and are not into judgment with your servant. For in your sight, O man living, shall be justified. For the enemy has persecuted my soul, he has humbled my life to the ground. He has made me dwell in darkness like those who have long been dead. Therefore, my spirit is overwhelmed within me, my heart within me is troubled. I remember the days of old and meditated on all your works, I have on the works of your hands. I spread out my hands to you, my soul long for you like a thirsty lamb. Hear me speedily, O Lord, my spirit fails, turn out your face for me, lest I be like those who go down into the pit. Make me to hear your mercy in the morning, for in you I have hope. Make me to know, O Lord, the way in which I should walk, for I have lifted up my soul to you. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord, for to you I have fled. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Your good spirit shall lead me in the land of righteousness. For your name's sake, O Lord, enlighten me in your righteousness. Bring my soul up out of tribulation. In your mercy cut off my enemies. 
and destroy all those who afflict my soul, for I am your servant. Hear me in your righteousness and are not into judgment with your servant. Hear me in your righteousness and are not into judgment with your servant. Your good spirit shall lead me in the land of righteousness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and into ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. God is the Lord, and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love is everlasting. God is the Lord, and has revealed himself. Rise. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Gideon, for Shabbat, your conceiving, O Mother of God, and David, the manner of your childbearing, for the word descended on, into the womb like rain upon the fleece, and without seed you put forth the flower that is Christ our God, a blessed virgin, the salvation of the world. The life lay in the tomb, and the seal lay upon the stone. The watch guarded Christ like a sleeping king. Having invisibly struck his enemies, the Lord arose. I will praise you, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will speak of all your marvelous works. Jonah prefigures your burial, and Simeon foretells your divine resurrection of a mortal Lord. For you went down as dead into the tomb, breaking in pieces the gates of Hades. Without seeing corruption, you rose as master for the salvation of the world, O Christ our God, the enlightener of those in darkness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Virgin Theotokos, pray to your Son, who of his own will was nailed to the cross. Christ our Lord, who rose from the dead, so that he might save our souls.
himself this way. Simon Peter, Thomas called the twin Nathaniel of Cana in Galilee, the sons of Zebedee, and two others of his disciples were together. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, We will go with you. They went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. Just as day was breaking, Jesus stood on the beach, yet the disciples did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, have you any fish? They answered him, No. He said to them, Cast the net on the right side of the boat, and you will find some. So they cast it, and now they are not able to haul it in for the quantity of fish. That disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. <coughs> Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord. He put on his clothes, for he was stripped for work, and sprang into the sea. But the other disciples came in the boat, dragging the net full of fish, for there were not far from the land, but about a hundred yards off. When they got out on land, they saw a charcoal fire there with fish lying on it and bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish that you have just caught. So Simon Peter went aboard and hauled the net ashore full of large fish, 153 of them. And although there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, Come and have breakfast. Now none of the disciples dared to ask him, Who are you? They knew it was the Lord. Jesus came and took the bread and gave it to them, and so with the fish. This now was the third time that Jesus was revealed to the disciples after he was raised from the dead. Sing the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus.
Israel crossed the, the sea as dry land, they saw the pursuer Pharaoh drowned, and so they cried, Let us sing to God a song of victory. Holy Fathers, pray to God for us. <clears throat> Praise in the all holy council of the Holy Fathers, and I pray thee crying aloud of Christ, for his most sacred and divinely revealed decisions to be kept by me. Holy Fathers, pray to God for us. Today the God bearing fathers gathering together as lightning flashes, plainly confess the oath for Christ. The only begotten Son, to be the Son of the of the Father, and of the same essence. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Master, the famous escorts of thy bride, the Church, having clearly set forth the definition of the faith, adorn her with it as with the comely ornament of gold, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. The Honorable Queen, in many colors of divine glory, stood before our Son of God, praying for the salvation of our souls.
and quenching the flame like blasphemous confusions that rose like fire. Therefore, as bishops of Christ, intercede for us to be saved. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages. Amen. Today, the radiant sending city of the Nicaeans has called to herself from all over the earth 318 bishops against the blasphemy uttered by Arius, who belittled one person of the Trinity, the Son of God, who is the Word of God. Lay no Arius, they strengthen the faith. Christ, my power, and my Lord, and my God, the venerable church sings, befitting God and with a pure understanding and feasting in the Lord, the Holy Fathers pray to God for us. Arius had committed fornication in a senseless mind against the Orthodox faith, was banished from the church by the decrees of the Fathers as being a, a member with a bad name. The Holy Fathers pray to God for us. The choir of the Fathers fighting on my behalf will master sorely defeated my enemies, and they glorified me as one nature with the Father and the Spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou, God and man, hast been a mediator between God and men. Therefore, o Christ, the divinely inspired, inspired fathers, recognize thee in two natures as one Son, thus proclaim thee, now and ever, and now to ages of ages. Amen. The tasting of the fruit of the garden has shown me to be dead, but the tree of life that appeared from thee, O all pure virgin, Raise me up and rebuild me as heir of the new life of Paramount. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. 
Moses, great among the prophets, wrote beforehand, describing thee as a tabernacle, a table, and a candlestick, and a jar, symbolizing the incarnation of the Most High from thee, O Mother Virgin. turbulence 
And with no one showing the care and love to resolve the problem, the great St. Constantine used state means to trans of transport and at 325 gathered the fathers of whom we speak from all parts of the world in Nicaea, to which place he himself also journeyed. Thus, when all the fathers had come together, the emperor also took his place not on, in, on an imperial throne, but on a chair which had, was beneath the honor due to an emperor. The fathers spoke in regard to Arius and anathematized not only him, but all those who were in agreement with him. The Holy Fathers confess that the word of God is of the same essence and honor with the Father and the co-originate, and is co-originate with the Father. They then formulated the symbol of faith as far as the article and I believe in the Holy Spirit, for the rest of the creed was completed at the second ecumenical council. It was this same first council that is uh, established in addition to these above matters the date of Pascha saying how and when it should be celebrated, and that it should not be celebrated at the same time as the Jewish Passover, which had been the former practice. They further laid down 20 canons regarding the entrance into the church. The great and equal to the Apostle St. Constantine sealed the final version of the symbol of faith with his own signature in red ink. Of the fathers who attended the First Ecumenical Council, 232 were hierarchs, while 86 were priests, deacons, and monks, thus bringing the total number present to 318. At the conclusion of the Council, the construction of Constantinople was also completed. St. Constantine the Great then called all these holy fathers to the city where they formed a procession and encircled its fortress offering prayers and proclaiming it to be the queen of cities, dedicating it at the request of the emperor to the mother of the word. Following this, each of the Holy Fathers returned to his own town. After St. Constantine the Great departed to the Lord, and the scepter of the kingdom was held by his son, Constantine Pius, Arius approached the emperor, saying that he wanted to abandon all his heresy and be reunited with the Church of God. He then wrote out his heresy upon a tablet and hung it about his neck, then as if he were submitting to the council, he struck the tablet with his hand, declaring that he submitted himself to their decisions. The king then commanded the patriarch of Constantinople to accept Arius absolutely into the bosom of the church. After the death of Mitrophon, Alexander ascended the hierarch of Rome, of Constantinople, knowing the wicked nature of Arius, he found himself doubting his reversal and prayed to God to reveal to him whether Arius' acceptance into the bosom of the church was in accordance with the divine will. When the time came for Arius to serve together with him, his prayer became even more fervent. On his way to church near the edge of the marketplace, Arius felt great pain in his abdomen and went to a public latrine. There he, there he found himself and suffered the same fate as Judas with his body torn apart. Life was a traitor of the word. Thus, just as he had torn the Son of God from the essence of the Father, so was he torn apart and later found dead. In this cause, in this way, the Church was delivered from the calamity that he had caused. Through the prayers of the 318 God-bearing fathers of Christ God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. An angel made the furnace cool with dew for the godly use, and, God command, and God's command to burn the Chaldeans made the tyrant cry, Blessed art thou, Lord God of our fathers. Holy Fathers, pray to God for us. You have conquered the madness known by the name of Arius, who sorely raving and told falsehood with regard to things on high, for he refused to cry out to the Son, Blessed art thou, the God of our fathers. Holy Fathers, pray to God for us. You marvelous fathers, doing as the son of thunder, you taught all men with your flame-like mouths to cry aloud concerning the son, who like the father has no beginning, and who sits with him on the same throne. Blessed art thou, the God of our fathers. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Blessed by God, who is in thy wings, helping the Son. For the Holy Spirit gathered you from the ends of the inhabited earth to cry, Blessed art thou, the God of our fathers. 
now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The grieves, the fire burnt not, prefigured thy childbirth. For the divine fire that dwelt in thee burnt not thee, burnt thee not, and enlightened all things to cry aloud, Blessed is she who conceived God in the flesh. This child has once resounded in harmony.
words written down for us. Finding fellow champions, the word who, like the Father, has no beginning, and who sits on the same throne, and who was before the ages, gathered you together, arming you with the powerful might of the Spirit. And now you all will increase you with the angelic host, ever glorify him. Holy Father, pray to God for us. As physicians of souls and bodies, we have put an end to the spreading of Arius, dreadful heresy, reverently setting up the creed for all men, the holy symbol of the faith. And we now hold in holding you to your, your memory, ever glorify you, O you performers of the holy sacrifice. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As thou, O Christ, art light, deliver my soul from the darkness of the passions, by the intercessions of them that serve me, O Master, and who now proclaim thee to be the maker of all, without beginning, uncreated, co eternal with the Father, now and ever, and for ages of ages, Amen. O thou, O Christ, lady, through thine ineffable conceiving past word, for its resurrection has been given to the dead, for from thee life has been wrapped in flesh, and has shown forth to all that clearly set loose the darkness of the tent. Rejoice, O free glory of mothers and virgins.
to our brethren and relatives on petitions for salvation and eternal life. Visit the afflicted and heal them, Archpriest John, Archpriest Michael, Priest Zarko, Matushka Stephanie, Jackie, Rosemary, Meredith, William, Ellen, Child Rachel, Child Katie, Trucia, Tristan, Mark, Leah, Anthony, Mary, Cheryl, Child Ava, Sylvia, Robert, Kristen, James, Barbara, George, Natalia, Ali, Alexis and her baby, Mark, Barbara, Jeffrey, Burge and Karula. Guide those at sea, travel with travelers. Archpriest Mark, Matushka Janet, traveling abroad. And all those traveling this evening, join Orthodox Christians in battle. Grant remission of sins to those who serve us and are kind to us. Have mercy according to great mercy and those who have asked us to pray for them. And worthy though we be Metropolitan, Tifan Archbishop Nathaniel, all the hierarchs of the church, for Bishop Irenaeus and that Holy Ascension Monastery having their pilgrimage this weekend. For those at St. Vladimir Seminary celebrating the graduation this weekend. For the donors and benefactors of our monastery, all those whose names are listed on the prayer list. For all those serving in the holy monastic life, for Mother Abbasiness, and those who labor with her in the Orthodox Church in Guatemala, for Mother Capitolina, Mother Mikhail, and all those with her. Remember the parish clergy and their families, and all those suffering from the flooding in Bosnia, Serbia, and Croatia, uh, for those Christians being persecuted, for those in Syria, for those in Nigeria, the girls who are in captivity for Miriam and her family. Remember also all those suffering in Ukraine. Remember our fathers and brethren fallen asleep before us. Give them rest into the light of your countenance, especially the departed Spiro and Esther on the anniversary of their repose. The newly departed deacon Dennis, Edward, Kylan, Helen, Susan, Zachary, Mary, Thomas, and Nathaniel, Nancy, Mary, Naomi, Theodore, Nicholas, Kuzma, Robert, and Nicholas. Remember those who are in captivity and prison for the bishops Paul and John. Remember those who bear fruit and do good works in your holy churches and monasteries, all those laboring here in our building project, and all those donating to the building project. Remember also the priest, Archpriest Stephen, and those gathered at Camp Nazareth. Remember us also, Lord, your humble, sinful, and unworthy servants, and lighten our minds with the light of your reason. Direct us into the path of your commandments by the prayers of your most pure, sovereign lady, the hope of every virgin Mary, and of all your saints. You are blessed unto the ages of the ages. Reasonable Lord, the holy and pure faith of pious and orthodox Christians, with this holy monastery in this countryside, to the ages of ages of earth, for honorable and the cherub here, and more glorious be unto them the seraph here, who without false virginity gave birth to God the Word, true birth giver of God. In the morning, we will begin at uh, 